Hey everybody, it's Dalton. I want to show you guys a, uh, especially for you guys that are new to fishing, you know, there's some really easy topwater baits to use, like a, a whopper plopper or something like that. But a walking style bait, if you've never done it before, is a little more challenging until you get the hang of it. So I want to talk about my rod and reel setup, at least the way I like to, uh, to fish this. I'm going to use a fairly high speed reel. This is a 7 3 to 1. This is a uh, Ardent reel. I've got a loose um, EVX rod, six foot eight, medium heavy action. And then as far as my line, I'm using 30 pound Suffix 832 braid. And then here's the key right here. I like to use some monofilament, uh, a little attachment of, mono, of monofilament when I'm walking a bait. That way my bait doesn't get all tangled up with the treble hooks in the braid. It does that really easy. So I tie a double uni knot here. And then there's a couple of ways that you can go with your other knot. Now you can either do a loop knot. Um, loop knots work really good, but I take and I, uh, I use these little clips. These are the same type clips that you have on a chatterbait. And they're made by P-Line. They have like 65 pound breaking, uh, a breaking point. And what it does is it allows that bait to swing. It makes it that much you know, easier to, to walk the bait. If you do a direct line tie, it's harder to walk the bait. So you either want to do a loop knot or get you a little swivel like that and that'll take care of it. Now, I want to show you what I mean by, well, hang on, let me, let me bring this back. I want to um, show you something real quick about walking this, okay? So, in order to walk this bait, we call it walking the dog, you have to have slack, okay? It, you have to use your slack. So, what happens is if you have a tight line, all you're doing is just dragging the bait. So, the way you walk the bait is it's gonna need to go side to side. And the way you do that is you start with a tight line, slack, tight line, slack, tight line, slack, tight line. Every time you slack, that bait will go one way or the other. And that's literally how you walk the dog. That's why it's important to either have a swivel or a loop knot so this thing swings freely. So let's look at it on the water. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a short cast here. And I'm just gonna walk it back using my rod tip, twitching that slack. And as you can see, it's going to make a little bit of noise, okay? But you walk it across the water. And what I like about this, and here's, here's the key to a short rod, guys. I'm not hitting the, the, the water, and I'm not hitting the side of my boat. I can do it with a 7-foot rod, but I like this 6-foot 8. It just makes it so much easier. So the reason I think that a walking bait is one of the best topwater baits there is, is that you control the speed. If you have a whopper plopper, you can reel it pretty slow, but there comes a point where that thing stops plopping. A popper bait is really good if you know they're in a particular area, but when you're searching for them and you've got them spread out all over the place, you can do so many things with this walking bait. You can move it really fast and just really move that thing along, making all kinds of sound, or you can slow it down and just go back and forth like that, real slow, and then boom. You can go fast. So I like these things. If, if, if you were to say I only had one top water bait that I could fish, it would be a walking bait. Reason being, I can go super slow or I can go really fast or anywhere in the middle. Well, I hope this video helps. Um, top water's been good out here. My wife uh, was getting them on a whopper plopper. She's the whopper plopper girl. But I am going to be teaching her how to do a walking bait. And she can start by watching this video. Thanks for tuning in. I'll talk to you next time. Thank <laughs> you.